Hey guys, so I got the video that's been requested more than any other video and that is the battery life test for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now over here I have the Xperia X Performance, the Galaxy S7 Edge, the Galaxy Note 7, the iPhone SE which is on iOS 10, the uh, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And let me just say this right at the beginning, this is not going to be a perfect battery life test. Uh, it's really impossible to make it perfect, but tried to take as many factors into consideration as I could. So of course right now all of them are on 100%. And first test. First test we'll just do, just going to have the web browser up. Uh, so all these are connected to the internet and I'm just going to show you some of the stats in a second. All of them are at 100%. All right, and just to show you, so, you know, I mean, I have Bluetooth, I have, oops, I have Bluetooth, I have Wi-Fi on here, uh, same with here, same with here, 50% brightness, auto brightness off, I'm going to show you in a second, that it, that it is off, um, so same with here, I mean, you guys can double check. But, you know, I have Bluetooth on, I have Wi-Fi on, obviously, locations on, location, Bluetooth, location, Wi-Fi, yeah, so, again, it's not going to be perfect, but I did try getting as much stuff as I could in unison, and just to turn off the light here, so you see the light is off, the screen brightness is the same, all of them, again, are at 50% brightness, 50%. Alright, so first test, we're going to bring up Chrome on all these browsers. And we're just going to go Google.com. Alright, so Google.com is up on all of them, and I'm going to check in in 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes now, checking in. Uh, the X Performance, 98%. S7 Edge, 94 Note 7, 94 uh, the iPhone SE still says 100, 100 for the iPhone 7, and the 7 Plus, 100 as well. Alright, so interesting first result. Um, next up, I'm going to do a game, and just to show you guys also. Um, so you see, nothing up aside from the current app. Oops. Out of that, all right. So, I'm gonna run Asphalt 8 on all these. So, the game is running, and once again, I'll check in in 30 minutes. So, it has been 30 minutes. Once again, going to check in on these. And the X performance, 86%. S7 Edge, 83%. So S7 Edge so far in last place, 84% for the Note 7. iPhone SE is at 93% iPhone 7, 92%, and the 7 Plus is at 93%. Alright guys, so next test, we are going to go to YouTube and stream for 30 minutes, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these on 100% brightness. So up until now, they've been at 50% brightness. Put them all at 100. And also, guys, I, I know that these are not, um, you know, like the brightest on the Galaxy phones, for example, is brighter than a lot of other phones, brighter than any of the phones here. But this is not a perfect test, so. So if you guys have a better suggestion for next time, let me know. Um, but again, we're going to go to YouTube, stream something for 30 minutes. Once again, checking in in 30 minutes. 
So it's been 30 minutes. Once again, checking in. All right, so Xperia X Performance, 73%. Galaxy S7 Edge, 71%. Galaxy Note 7, 76%. iPhone SE, 85%, iPhone 7, 81%, and 7 Plus, 84%. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to run Asphalt 8 again, but this time I'm going to run it at the minimum brightness. So I'm on the minimum brightness right now. I turn off the light just so you can see the screen better. And once again, checking in in 30 minutes. All right, so been 30 minutes. Once again, checking in on all these phones. X Performance, 62. Galaxy S7 Edge, 59. Galaxy Note 7, 69. iPhone SE, 76. iPhone 7, 73. And iPhone 7 Plus, 75. All right, so one more test. I'm going to run a uh, camera test on all these. Go and record um, in 1080p, 30 frames per second. All right, guys, so again, this is going to be the last test. I'm uh, going to run this one for 25 minutes just because one of the phones is running low in memory and only has 25 minutes to record. So, again, going to check in in 25 minutes. All right, guys, so the S7 Edge just ran out of uh, memory one second ago. So going to close out this app on all the other phones. And then I'm going to check in on them. Hey everyone, so I have the results here. But before I go over them, I want to go over a few caveats first. Now the S7 Edge was my personal phone from March through August. So for five months, uh, I was using it every day. The Xperia X Performance has been my work phone uh, since July when it came out. And the Note 7 has been my personal phone for the past month. So what that means is these phones have had a lot more use than the iPhones. Um, and as you all know, the more you use the battery, uh, the worse it's going to get over time. So, and also a few other things. So with the Galaxy phones, uh, they do have a higher PPI and higher brightness. So take that into account. And also my personal phones. Um, so the Galaxy phones, the Xperia phones, they have more stuff running in the background. Apps like Facebook, uh, Gmail, stuff like that I don't have currently synced with the iPhones. So just a few things to consider before I go over the results. Now with that said, the last place phone is the one with the largest battery, ironically enough. And that is the S7 Edge. So you see here, 40%. And again, this one, like a few months ago, the battery was definitely better. But with use, it's became worse. Now, next up is the X Performance, and that one is 45%. Next is Note 7, and that is 55%. Then we have the iPhone 7, 60%, the iPhone SE, 62%, and that leaves first place, the iPhone 7 Plus, 64%. Now I just wanted to say, I found the results, despite what I said at the beginning, I still find the results pretty surprising. Last time I did this test was just a few weeks ago. Uh, the iPhone SE, I think it did worse than all the phones. Uh, maybe a little better than the Xperia, I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it did worse than the Galaxy phones. Maybe the iOS 10 update helped the battery significantly because this did a lot better than I was expecting. In terms of the actual battery size, so the S7 Edge uh, is coming in at 3600. The Note 7 has 3500. Uh, the iPhone 7 Plus 2900, the iPhone 7, uh, or rather the X Performance 2700, the iPhone 7 1960, and the iPhone SE 1642. 
So some things you can definitely take from this, the iPhone 7 Plus, better battery than the 7. Uh, so even when you're running everything on the screen, you're gonna get better results despite having a larger screen. Um, and then of course, you know, if you're like streaming music or something on you know, the screen on, the results will be pretty different. So I would think that the phones with the bigger batteries, like the S7 Edge uh, Galaxy Note would do better in that circumstance. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, please subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.